This afternoon I went on to the Envirofan website to download the current version of the product catalog as I wanted to order some Envirofan DZ1 electrical box to J-hook adapters. While I was perusing through the catalog I noticed something extremely interesting to me and that was a substantial change in the CFM ratings on the ceiling fans. I always felt like the CFM ratings on the Envirofan ceiling fans were astronomically off the charts. I, if I recall correctly, the larger models, the 56 and 60 inch models, were rated somewhere in the 40,000s of CFM. I believe 43,000 was the number that uh, was on a bunch of them. And uh, I tried to find an old copy of that catalog. I spent a couple minutes searching and I couldn't find one. But what I did have, which I saved back in 2010, because I wanted to buy one of these for my bedroom, in 2010 I saved a picture of the detailed specifications for the 136F-7, which is the 36 inch model, which is on the screen right now. And as you can see here, the CFM rating is 12,000 CFM for a little 36 inch fan, which I don't think that's believable. I've used this fan up close in person as I have also used several different 56 inch models and I just don't feel like they come even close to moving that much air. Because I know what a very good residential fan feels like and some of the older models from the 70s and 80s that were probably six to seven thousand CFM. I know what those feel like and in my opinion these Enviro fans really didn't exceed that very much. They're they're very powerful fans of very good quality, but they they're not forty thousand, twelve thousand. See, I mean that would just be outrageous. So today, when I downloaded the specification sheet, I saw this. This is the detailed specifications for the one thirty six F for comparison purposes. The 56 inch models, a lot of them were rated in, in the 7000 range, which I think is spot on. That seems very reasonable. And this 36 inch one is rated for 3247 CFM, which I also think is spot on. I've used other 32, 36 inch fans with similar ratings and they feel about the same. Now I think that the CFM ratings in general need to be taken with a grain of salt, perhaps even the entire container of salt, because I just don't feel like they're very accurate, especially manufacturer to manufacturer and decade to decade. And I don't know why this is such a difficult thing to measure. I think that at this point in time there should be some type of equipment that can measure this with some degree of accuracy, but I, I guess most of it is probably calculated based off of wind speed and surface area of the blades. And I would think that the people that are making these measurements would take into consideration the fact that the airflow is stronger at the ends of the blades and weaker at the inside of the fan and somehow there's a calculation that takes that into consideration. But I have long felt like the CFM ratings are just almost useless. Even with um, uh, like high velocity fans, nowadays you can you can get the specs. Um, CFM is a pretty common spec listed today, and you can buy two fans that have a claimed two or three thousand difference, and you put them side by side, and they feel the same. And it's like, well, one is definitely not twice as powerful as the other one. I think that this also happens with the air conditioners because the the BTU rating would be affected by the airflow and so if the CFM rating is bogus then the actual 
cooling capacity is also going to be skewed. And it's kind of the same thing. We we can put two 5,000 BTU air conditioners side by side, and oftentimes they don't even perform anywhere near each other. <laughs> anyway, so now, as of the time of this taping, which is September 6, 2024, the current specification sheet lists us at 3,247 CFM, and it says, the asterisk says, CFM measured from Fian Hong from 10 feet high ceiling with standard down rod, which is pretty much how it would, would be used in a normal use case. How exactly it was measured, I don't know. That doesn't say. So a couple of things that are kind of confusing to me about this change in specification. According to the old specification sheet, it moves 12,000 CFM and can cover 8,000 square feet of floor space. According to the new specification sheet, it moves 3,247 CFM and can cover 8,000 or 800 square feet, excuse me, of floor space. So back in 2010, you needed 12,000 CFM to cover 800 square feet, but now you only need 3,000 to cover 800 square feet. Somebody figure that one out for me because I can't make any sense of that. Curiously, the old one spins at 400 RPM, draws 7 amps. The new one spins at 454 RPMs, which is outrageously fast, and only draws 0.4 as opposed to 0.7. We don't have watts on the other one, but I would assume it's power factor at least 0.95 or higher because it's, it's a PSC motor. So, very, very interesting. I've used this fan before, and like I said, I think that 3000 CFM is pretty accurate. There is no shot that this little 36 inch fan can cover 800 square feet. My living room is about 550 square feet, I think. Let me just calculate this right quick. Uh, it's a little more, it's probably, probably more towards about 6, but it's less than 800, and 3000 CFM fan is not going to do a thing in that room. Even a big 52 inch fan that's good quality moving five or six thousand CFM barely touches the outside of the room. So I don't know what what that's based off of, but that is totally not realistic. Um just for the sake of curiosity, I'm gonna bring up the spec sheet uh for the whole thing. For all of them. Here we go. And you can see the sixty inch uh, or the 56 inch ones, 7,212 CFM, or as before, they used to be like 43 something, I believe. And then the 60 inch ones are 8,000 8, CFM. That I can b I can believe. I think that's pretty reasonable. See, they're all around 7,000, 7, 7,000, uh, 7,700 rather, 8,000, 7,200. And that all seems reasonable to me. Um, some of these are only 5,800. Uh, so wh which model did I have in the garage? Oh, I can't remember. I think it was 160F. So 7,000. Are those reversible? Hmm. I don't know, but 7,000, I think that's right. Because those fans, to me, they just feel like really good residential fans. So... That's interesting to see this change. I checked on a bunch of retailers, and the information has been updated on every retailer that I checked. So I'm not sure when this transpired. I'm just picking up on it now. I wonder if... Nah, see, I, th I think even in a free-year environment where it wasn't on the 10-inch down rod, it still wouldn't achieve much more than that because the blades, even though they go pretty fast... There's hardly any pitch on those things. The the pitch would have to be astronomical, and the speed would have to be like doubled or tripled to even come close to 40,000 CFM. That's just such a an outlandish number. I can't believe it was it was listed like that for so many years.